The Ministry of Investment stated that the draft of government regulation on the ease of doing business in the state capital area will be completed in October 2022. It includes a discussion on the plan to impose a 95-year cultivation rights to attract investors. Investment Minister Bahlela Hadalia revealed that the draft government regulation on ease of doing business in the state capital area or IKN will be completed in October 2022. Bahlil explained that a proposed government regulation draft has been signed and is currently in the synchronization process. When the process includes the discussion of the plan to imposition of 95-year cultivation rights. This plan is referred to as an effort to persuade investors to join the IKN development. Because according to Bahlil, the current IKN area is not like other areas that have higher potential in attracting investors. Through this long plan of cultivation rights, Bahlil sees that investors can be attracted to IKN. The reason is this is a bargaining value of some kind of incentive that can attract more investors. He also ensured that later the land that had been used would return to the state. Kondisinya di sana itu kan masih belum banyak orang yang mau. Maka insentifnya kita harus kasih lebih dibandingkan dengan daerah yang sudah berkembang. Itu sebagai bentuk konsekuensi dalam teori marketing. Tapi kan marketing harus mempunyai dasar aturan, jangan sampai kita kena apa-apa gitu. Nah, 95 tahun ini adalah sebuah strategi marketing kita untuk bagaimana bisa mendatangkan investor. Begitu. Tapi setelah itu kembali ke negara barangnya kan. In addition to the plan to impose the HGO or cultivation rights for up to 95 years, the government also offers the other facilities such as tax holidays, super tax deductions, exemption from import duties and import VAT. IDX Channel reports.